Uh, I'm Aaron Chura, I'm 18 years old and I've been playing computer games since I was about 9 years old. Uh, my favourite game of all time probably has to be World of Warcraft on the computer. What is it that changed it for you? I think it's when I saw a massive drop in my grades and at points where I would, you know, make up excuses where I was actually playing a game but telling my friends I was doing my homework or I was out with my parents or something and then realising that I would not get the grades needed to continue on to my second year of A-levels to get to the university I wanted to go to. And now being at the A2 stage where all my good friends are at university and then you know you hit home that education is your top priority. This target is captured and interrogated. I'm placing the new order on indefinite hold. Confirm your understanding of this instruction. My name is Joe, 28, and I've been playing computer games for 20 years. Yeah, they are. Computer games are are a huge part. Like if it takes up a lot of time in a kid's life. You're gonna, they, they're gonna not be able to do other things. My name is Reese Farrington, I'm 16 years old and I'm playing video games for about seven years now. I would say that t saying that they're solely responsible is completely different to saying they're responsible. Say, I think people would quite easily jump on the bandwagon that video games are deteriorating, you know, the lives of people. Whereas I think the way video games work is that they could be something which is bugging somebody, and they could be something which, like, in, in a certain case, someone is struggling to get on with something else because they are concentrating quite hard on the fact that they're playing video games. <laughs> There's a whole way of communicating with different people, you know. You have uh, mainly the people that I play with for myself, they're either Danish or Swedish, or majority of them are British. So, you know, you, you learn some of the language, you learn some of the Danish language, you learn some of the Swedish language, you have, you have a laugh, you learn to communicate with people, you learn to talk to people. If you're not quite a confident person in real life, World of Warcraft, because they can't see you personally unless you want them to, you're more confident, you're more out of your shell and that can have a, a beneficial knock-on effect in your real life. You know, maybe you used to be shy, but the more you talk to people, the more you get used to talking to people, and then it can branch out from there, and now I'm quite confident speaking in public and things like that, and I would put quite a lot of that down to being able to talk in video games. <laughs> It is a waste of time. I, I believe it's when I play computer games, I enjoy it, but I also feel like it's a waste of time. Five in the air. Strike awaiting order. 